Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today we're going to be showing you the 1985 movie genres, because I have a lot of movies. There's some anime movies on here. Add in. So let's dive right into this. Today, on the Physical Media Video Library series... Welcome back. Okay, I have some genres and movies, like I have our adventure of movies, horror movies, comedy movies, there's some fantasy movies on there. Like, I have mostly of those movies that were released in 1985, but there's also three of these anime movies that I have released in 1985, because I have three of them. I have a couple are on DVD and one on VHS that I picked from my anime collection just to take the cake as well. So without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive into the DVDs of what we got on the, by starting off with the genres in the movies here. Starting off with the adventure movies, I have here our Baby Secret of the Lost Legend, or also known on as the recut version aired on television in 1989. It goes by the name Dinosaur Secret of the Lost Legend, which is part of the Wonderful World of Disney on, on television back in 1989 as a recutted version as well. Yeah, and there's nothing new about this. I mean, it's just one of those movies that are, it's just what it is, what it is type movies. From what I understand as well. Got the uh, Toys R Us back in, 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 in the day as well. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back. Feel free if you like as well. Because I noticed this features William Cat from the television series The Greatest American Hero, and Sean Young from Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. She was also in Blade Runner, I think. Yeah, there's no special features whatsoever. There's nothing new about this. But I noticed this movie does have the music score from Jerry Goldsmith, who brought you Poltergeist and The Secret of Nim on there, from what I understand. Yeah, there's no special features on it whatsoever. There's nothing new about it. But I know it has its moments as well. But it's just what it is as well. The next one I have is Reanimator, which is from H.P. Lovecraft as well. This is part of the Anchor Bay collection on DVD, which I have right here, which I was going to show you. Here is the spine, because I can notice that little Anchor Bay logo on here. I got this DVD of Reanimator back in Half Price Books, which is, I think, back in 2017, which I remembered. And here's the back. Feel free to read on there. This has all exclusive bonus features, including the all-new 70-minute documentary, Reanimator Resurrects on there. Yeah, because there's a, one of the greatest ones of how they made this one. Yeah, it's one of those movies that are, it's just what it is what it is type movies as well. I noticed this is presented in 16 by 9 widescreen format. And this also has like some audio commentaries on there. If you want to read the bonus materials on there, go ahead if you like as well. Yeah, because I got this at Half Price Books as well. From what I understand here on this one, Disc 1 is a feature presentation. Disc 1, this is actually the movie on here. And Disc 2, this is this features the bonus materials on here. So I'm going to put that in the horror category here, which I have right here, from what I understand. And the next one I have here, what I got is Silver Bullet. This is based on Stephen King's novella, The Cycle of the Werewolf, on here. Yeah, this is one of the greatest werewolf movies I've ever seen back in 1985. Especially the ones that I have are on DVD, That these types of movies that were released in 1985, which is during the 80s. This features Gary Busey in this one, and this features Corey Haim from uh, The Lost Boys. I really need to get The Lost Boys on Blu-ray as well. Yeah, this... I noticed this... It's, fr it's frightening as hell, but... It has its moments as well in Silver Bullet. So I'll put that in the horror category here. And also, here to the to the comedy, I 
got on DVD. This I got was from uh, Barnes and Noble. I have is The Goonies. This is the Richard Donner film from 1985 on here. Because I was going to show you this one here. Because from what I understand here, yeah. Because I got this at Barnes and Noble back in 2008. I mean, it's been a while. I mean, I had this on VHS. It's been a while since I've seen this movie on VHS, but I think I've watched this on DVD lots of numerous times as well. Yeah, it's one of those great 80s movies on here. If the not the best, but the greatest. This is one of my favorite movies on here as well from Richard Donner who brought you the Lethal Weapon movies and Superman 2 and many and Lady Hawk and many of his works as well. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. Yeah, this is probably how Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall and Richard Donner and Steven Spielberg had a lot to do for this movie when they made this. Yeah, because I did a movie review on this n oh, last year as well. It's a very fun movie on here. This has the co audio commentary with its hidden video treasures by Richard Donner and the cast members from The Goonies on there. This has the music video. This has the making of The Goonies feature ad on here. And this also has the outtakes on this DVD. Apparently, if you want to look for it, I don't know if it's available on Blu-ray. It's, I think so. It might be available on Blu-ray if you can find it on Amazon or eBay or something. Let me know as well. And also, I have a couple editions of Lady Hawk, because I think I put the Goonies in the comedy section. Now with the fantasy genre, I have a couple editions of Lady Hawk on DVD. This is the old edition of Lady Hawk on DVD, which has some talent bios. This also has some movie recommendations. This has the production's note production notes about the movie Lady Hawk on DVD. This is all in a flipper disc on here on DVD because this has two both versions of Lady Hawk in the flipper disc on DVD which this one has the I think this was the I believe it's the the widescreen format version and this has the standard full frame version on the DVD. Yeah apparently this does have the theatrical trailer on the DVD here also, if you will notice, just from what I understand, because this is from um, what Vittorio Storaro, the photography in Lady Hawk was done by Vittorio Storaro, who worked on some of the movies with Italian director Dario Argento as well. Because I didn't know this until now. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like on the DVD as well. Same thing I'll show you with the Blu-ray in just a moment. Right here's the the old edition of Lady Hawk on DVD from 1997. And I have the new edition of Lady Hawk on Blu-ray from the Warner Archive Collection I have right here. This is my all-time favorite fantasy movies from the 80s on here. Yeah, because it's how the cur the story about, you know, the, the, the knight who becomes a, a wolf by night, but when the by day he becomes the knight, but when by night she becomes the woman, but when by day she's the hawk in that one. Because I think this is filmed in Italy as well. It's how the setting goes as well. Yeah. If you want to pause on the back of the Blu-ray, feel free to read if you like as well. Yeah, This, this was directed by R Richard Donner and this photograph photographed by three-time Academy Award winner Vittorio Storaro who brought you who worked with Dario Argento as well. Because, you know, Dario Argento is an Italian director as well. Here's the Blu-ray disc on here. Because that's the same artwork like this one here. Because I have both editions on here. So put that in the fantasy section. And also, finally, to the anime, I have the original 1994 VHS release of Vampire Hunter D. This is my all-time favorite anime movie from 1985 on here. Because, what can I say? Because this is based on the series of novels by Hideyuki Kikuchi, who brought you Wicked City and Demon City Shinjuku on here. Apparently, this is directed by legendary Toyo Ishida, who worked on Ulysses 31 and Fist of the North Star series and the movie on here. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back of the VHS cover if you like as well. Yeah, because... 
yeah, if you notice on here, there's this is the old edition of the the version I have of Vampire Hunter D on VHS. This has the original English dub by Streamline Pictures on here. Yeah, you can see this on here. This is the old edition from Orion Home Video. Here's the VHS cover. This is in an ink label on here. Apparently, I did get it on Blu-ray because this has the the new English dub from stream from um, there. So I have to put it on the anime section. And another anime movie from 1985 I got is Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight on here. Because I got this for Christmas back in 2018 on here. Well, why not? Because this is like very Yamato-esque type anime movie. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. Yeah, because this has both versions. This has the Central Park Media standard version, but this also has the original extended version with the, in its original Japanese with English subtitles, and it has loudness performing Odin, which you see at the end of this anime movie, which is the original extended version of Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight. Because I love this cover, because it's kind of like a reminiscent to Space Battleship Yamato. This is what Yoshinobu Nishizaki had a lot to do with when they made this movie. And the last one I have for the anime movies released in 1985 here, I have on DVD that I ordered on Right Stuff for last year, I got is The Dagger of Kamui, who's directed by Rintaro, who brought you Galaxy Express 3-9 movie, Metropolis, and what's that other one he did? Harmageddon, also known as Genma Tyson. He also worked on Space Pirate Captain Harlock series, Kim of the White Lion, and the original Astro Boy on here. Yeah, The Dagger of Kamui is my favorite classic samurai epic anime movie. It's been a while since I saw it on 2B TV, but not to worry, I got it on DVD. This is the 2003 Animego release on here. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back of here if you like as well. Go ahead. This has on-screen on maps, character bios, and this has the original trailer for The Dagger of Kamui on here. This is a this is my all-time favorite anime movie from the 80s on here, because you can't go wrong with 80s anime. And that's all I have, what I got for today. So that's going to be it for my video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Now that I did the 1985 genre categories in movies, especially the movie genres, I have, like, three of these anime movies that were released in 1985 as well, because I have picked three of those for my anime collection, along with these other movies that have the genre, depending on the genre of how it goes. Like, it doesn't matter if it's either, like, action, adventure film, um, comedy, horror, sci-fi, fantasy, depending on the genre categories of how the movies that were released. There's another one I need to get called Furious Bueller's Day Off, because that's another one that I really need to get on Blu-ray. For the most part, at one point, I believe. But that's just how it is, I guess. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media, smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well. And that's all I gotta say because that didn't take very long because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos.